In October 2023, the aerospace giant Airbus announced that it had commissioned six ships with flutter rotors for entry into service by the year 2026. These ships will transport aircraft sections to Airbus's US assembly line. What are these Flettner rotor ships and why are they seeing a resurgence is a topic that we will explore in this video. Flettner rotor ships or simply rotor ships are sailing vessels of a different kind. They operate on a physical phenomenon called the Magnus effect. Instead of conventional sails, they use large cylindrical columns which are able to rotate. The combined effect of their rotation and wind passing across them results in the propulsive force which pushes the ship in the direction required. The direction of the propulsive force can be controlled by the speed of rotation of the cylinders. To understand this better, we can think about the conventional lift theory also. If a cylinder facing wind doesn't rotate, then any flow across it would create a force, simply a drag force. When the cylinder rotates, one part of it, where the wind direction and rotation direction are aligned, experiences a low pressure, while the other part sees a higher pressure. It is this difference in pressure that results in a net propulsive force that pushes the ship in the direction required. By varying the speed of rotation, the direction of the propulsive force can be adjusted. For the times when there is low to no wind, the rotor ships are augmented with a small conventional propeller for better control. It has been found that flatter rotors result in fuel savings of 5 to 20 percent. And it is this particular advantage that is now bringing them back. It is interesting to note that the first rotor ship, the Bacau, was made in the year 1924. It had two rotating cylinders that were 15 meter tall and 3 meters in diameter. They were driven by an electric propulsion system of 50 horsepower or 37 kilowatts power. The Bacau not only showed fuel efficiency but also dispelled any doubts on the inability to negotiate stormy weather. On 31st of March 1926, the Bacau sailed to New York via South America. The 6,200 nautical mile voyage across the Atlantic used only 12 tons of fuel oil compared to the 45 tons for a motor ship of the same size without rotors. The Pacao led to another larger ship called the Barbara, which had three rotors. However, a global economic crash followed, which led to decrease in consumer buying confidence. The cheap availability of diesel and readily available engine technology meant the Flettner rotor ship technology was consigned to the fringes. Rotor ships were designed in the last hundred years but were merely experimental demonstrators and nothing more. However, with the push for environmental sustainability, Flettner rotor ships began to research in the early 2000s. Enercon, a renowned wind turbine producer, launched the hybrid rotor ship E-Ship 1 on the 2nd of August 2008. From 2010, it has been used to transport the company's turbine products and other equipment. Enercom claims operational fuel savings of up to 25% compared to same size conventional freight vessels. Shipbuilders in the UK, Germany, Norway, and China have recently produced Flettner rotor vessels. The initiative by Airbus will push more freighters to add these efficient ships to their fleet. This technology is also benefiting transport ferries. Scanline operates two hybrid ferries with rotor sails, the MF Copenhagen and the MF Berlin. Interestingly, rotor sails have also been designed that allow ship to pass underneath the bridges. Norspower, the main proponent of rotor sails from Finland, has installed five tilting rotor sails on a whale-operated iron ore carrier. It is important for the shipping industry to cut its emissions by 34% to meet the Paris Agreement. A study has revealed that there is potential for the shipping industry to cut emissions by one-third 
using weather routing alongside flatter rotors. Airbus intends to use advanced software that will use weather data to chart an optimal course for transporting cargo across the Atlantic. These rotors can also sail into the wind by a technique called tacking. They can move 20 to 30 degrees into the headwind and keep moving forward. It is good to note that in the push for sustainability technologies that had been put on the back burner because of the abundance of oil are coming back to the fore. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.